Agricultural experts say the effects of climate change are a threat to Kenya's food security. The experts from the think tank Tegemeo Institute of Egerton University are now calling on farmers to adapt effectively to reduce the latter effects of climate change or risk putting the country's food security at risk. Recent days affecting everyday life. But for players in the agricultural sector, the effects of a year of not enough or too much rainfall, a hot spell or a cold snap at the wrong time, or extremes like flooding and storms, have had significant effects on local crop yields, livestock production and earnings. While benefits of modern farming technologies and techniques have worked to mitigate this vulnerability and boost production, future of food production still remains at risk. Irrigated maize is profitable, viable and sustainable. And within the investment period, you find that positive cash flows are reported. Also, the farmers who participate in irrigation, a large percentage, that is 73 percent of them, who are willing to pay for irrigation services and water. This is because they found that we found that the economic value of water, that is the value of output that they get from using water, was much higher than the cost that they carry. The one silver lining to the changes in climatic conditions in the geographical shift in agricultural production in Kenya, with some parts of the country expected to become less productive, while others more conducive to farming. If farmers are able to adapt to short-term effects, then they'll be able to reduce the effects or reduce the vulnerability to the long-term effects of climate change. Despite this, Experts insist that effects of climate change is likely to yield more losses than benefits and the impact on crop yield is likely to be worse in the long term than in the short term effects. Climate change is, uh, is, uh, is happening the world all over and this one may affect the, the, this objective of transforming smallholder agriculture and this is one area that we have addressed with our research. As it stands, human activity contributes to the majority of greenhouse emissions, primarily through burning fossil fuel, with a small contribution from clear-cutting forests known as deforestation. Experts now insist that it is necessary to invest in adaptation measures at national, county and farm level, especially in tea growing regions, as a way of building farmers' resilience. Philip Keitan, KTN Business.